on the airport bus. We're exhausted. That's the update. That's all you need to know. We made it here to Patio Hostel in Bratislava, Slovakia. Peyton and I have never been here uh, to the entire country, not just to this hostel. And uh, we're really just, you know, not educated on what we're supposed to do. So I know there are some castles. I know that um, there's Old Town, because every European city has Old Town. And uh, hopefully there's food and coffee. Yes! <laughs> Okay, so we got round two here of Slovak food at this restaurant, Slovak Pub. I got beef goulash with bread dumplings and Peyton has more pierogies. Yes. We're very excited. So Slovak Pub was so good. We are so full. Yes. <laughs> but it was worth it. So happy. happy, and it was not that expensive either not for enough. the amount of food that we just ate. Oh. And uh, we're full, but we're still getting coffee. We need coffee, always. Coffee is a staple in any traveler's life, don't you know? <laughs> So we got our coffee. These fancy little lattes cost us, I think, two, e 250, two euros and 50 cents. Um, we love Bratislava. <laughs> we were gonna go visit this castle that's outside of the city. There's a castle in Bratislava called Bratislava Castle. And then there's another castle um, called Devon Castle. We were gonna go today, but we found out that it actually has already closed for the day. So we're gonna go tomorrow. While we still have about an hour or so of daylight left here in the city center, we're just gonna wander around. I have to say that one of the biggest perks of traveling in the off season is that sometimes you get an entire city square with like two other people in it. <laughs> I just fell so badly trying to take a self timer photo. If I would not have been there, you would have definitely. Hit the ground. I, I could have really hurt myself, but it's okay because I grabbed I'm Peyton here. Here and she her. slowed my fall. Anyway, hopefully the photo is funny. Here you go. It's sunset now, and we really just lucked out with our timing because we didn't really do this on purpose. But we're getting to watch the sunset from Bratislava Castle. So we just finished up the show here at Patio Hostel in Bratislava, Slovakia. Um, and it was a weird one. Like, I'm gonna be honest, there were about 30 very, very drunk Scottish men who were on, what was it? They were on, some of them were football players and some of them were rugby players. Yes, okay, that was the story Peyton got while I was on stage. Basically, um, some of them were lovely and tried to calm down their friends. <laughs> the rest of them were very drunk. Um, to put it lightly. To put it nicely. They were 
a lot. They were a lot is the best way to put it. Um, we had people taking their shirts off, jumping up on stage, lots of heckling, lots of requests for me to play Wonderwall, which I will never do. Um, no one was offensive, but it was just really, really disruptive. So I'm very, very grateful that the staff here at Patio Hostel handled the situation super well, nicely asked them to leave. Um, so that everyone else could enjoy the show and so that I could, you know, be heard. <laughs> uh, and it ended up going really well. And I played the second half of the show, got to play my quiet songs, and it was great. Definitely an unforgettable show here in Bratislava. And I'm really glad we still have another day. We don't leave till Sunday morning, so we have all day tomorrow and tomorrow night to just hang out and explore. So as you can see behind me, there's like no one here. I don't know if it's just cause it's winter, although it does not feel like it, it's so beautiful out. But yeah, there's really not a lot of people here in Bratislava. It's really interesting. We're here at the Blue Church, which is a really famous landmark here in Bratislava, and you'll see why. It basically looks like a cake. I feel like I'm in Candyland, um, which is pretty much nine-year-old Claire's dream come true. <laughs> Here we are at Devon Castle. It's just a little bit outside of Bratislava. We took an Uber. I think it was 10 euros, which is pretty good considering we're no longer in the city. Um, the view is so beautiful and the sun is so bright that I'm kind of speechless. It is beautiful. <laughs> and um, I'm pretty sure that's Austria, some, somewhere over there. We just finished filming the newest episode of the Foreign Voices series with Leia. Yay. <laughs> and now we celebrate! And drink, 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 drink! drink, drink. <laughs> Peyton and I are back at Patio Hostel now. We just had a great dinner at this cafe restaurant called Urban House. It was so good and it was so fun to hang out with Leia a bit after we filmed our Foreign Voices interview. It ended up taking pretty much the whole day, um, so if you feel like this vlog is missing hours of today, uh, stay tuned for that other video. Um, we had a really great day. We, it was so fun. I, we both just love Bratislava. It's so cool because this trip was put together kind of randomly, but it worked out so well. I mean, the weather was something else. Um, Again, it's February and yeah, the temperature is a little concerning, but we're gonna not dwell on that. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This was a bit of a longer vlog, um, but it's just because we had so much fun and I wanted to share all of it with you. So if you're thinking about booking a trip to Bratislava, I highly recommend it. This city is so cool. It's kind of like a mix of all the best things from a lot of other European cities, if that makes sense. As always, please subscribe. Um, I really love it when people leave me comments. It reminds me that actual human beings are watching these videos. <laughs> so thank you if that's a thing that you feel like doing. And um, I'll see you very soon. Well, you'll see me. That's how videos work. Okay, bye.